Okay, welcome to another screencast from DIYPCRepairs.net. This time I'm going to take a look at how we install Windows 7 without doing the format. Um, the other video we've got on the channel covers how to do the, the full format and then clean reinstall. This time I just want to take a look at how we install without the format and the advantages of doing that. The big advantage of it is that any files, um, folders, photos, anything like that you've got on your current Windows install, when you install without formatting the hard drive, Windows creates a fold called Windows Old and all your old documents, photos, videos can be found inside that folder from within your new Windows install. Um, so I'll show you what I mean. What we're going to do is we're going to restart this machine. It's set to boot from the install DVD and we'll get into what we have to do to install without formatting. Okay, so now the system's going to start up. we we'll wait for the boot from any Press any key to boot from DVD and Windows will start loading the files as normal. As with any other install, this part of the install process is exactly the same. OK, Windows is now going to start the install process. Just let this run through. So we need to pick our time and currency format. I'm in the UK. We'll pick UK, click Next. OK, this is where we get the option to install now. And that's what we're wanting to do, so we just click on Install now and that's going to start setup. OK, accept the license terms. We're going to be doing a custom install. OK, here we go. This is where we have our partitions. And you can see here that we've got uh, partition 2 has got 25 gig. That's the partition that I'm wanting to install Windows on. So all I do is I select that partition and I click Next. What this is telling you now is that Windows will install and it will create a folder called Windows Old which, as I've said, will have all your old documents in your photos and they will be accessible once we've installed Windows again. So, as I say, at this point, don't go into the format thing, just pick the drive and click OK and this is going to install Windows. Now, there may be reasons why you want to do a full format. Um, if you haven't got any files or anything that you need to save due to the fact you've got everything backed up, um, go the full format route. Um, as I say, there's a video on the channel how to do that. Um, but if you find that Windows won't start or anything like that, you know, there's for whatever reason you've got bad system files or anything like that, if you install Windows in this way, there's a good chance that you will be able to recover all your data, your documents, your photos, your videos from your old install. Um, so this is going to take a while, so I'm going to pause the video and we'll get back to this once we get uh, Windows installed. Okay, as the system restarts, do not press any key at this point, let it boot through. If you press the key, you'll go back again and everything will begin again. You have to go through the whole thing again. So let it boot through and let Windows start up. OK, once we've got through the main install, the computer is going to ask us for a computer name. So we'll do that now. And then we hit Next. Um, type a password if you want. For me at the moment, I'm just going to skip this. Um, I'm not putting my product key in on the video. Again, you can always do this after the fact. You can um, you can activate Windows at any point up to 30 days. Uh, I'm going to use recommended settings. Check the date and times set for your region. Click next, and we're going to use a home network. Okay, Windows is just going to prepare the desktop. Okay, so now Windows has finished installing. We can now take a look at recovering our files um, that we had in our old Windows install. Um, and we do that by going to Start, going to Computer. Let's just make that bigger. Um, if we double click C Drive, you'll see here that we've got Windows and Windows Old. Windows is where our Windows is currently running from, and Windows Old is our old files and folders. So if we just double click on there, you'll see that we've got users here. Now you can copy this whole folder across, but what I'm going to show you is just how you can pick and choose what we want to save. So you'll see in here that we've got a list of uh, folders from our last install. So we've got favourites, uh, we've got documents and everything there. So if you open favourites up, you'll see that the favourites that we had are in there. If you look at pictures, we've got pictures in there, and also in my documents. I've got my old documents. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, have to take a look at how we switch these over. So I'm just going to use snap. I'll just snap him in over there. Okay, so what I want to do now is 
open up a new documents folder. Okay, let's just make these bigger. So if we want in everything here we can we can just select all um and drag across. But I'll just do a couple individually. So I'm gonna take my documents I'm gonna drop them over here. Now what's gonna happen now is it's gonna move the file over and it's gonna tell me that this folder is already in existence and we wanna replace it. Okay, and then we can do the same for favourites. We can take favourites over there. And again it's gonna tell us that the file already exists. So we're gonna replace it. Okay, so it's found duplicates, so we just put the tick in the box, click yes. And again it's found eighteen conflicts there, we're just gonna tick the box and then we're gonna go up to move and replace. So that's how we move everything over. So if we wanted to move the whole lot, we just select it all, drag across and drop, and it's going to come up with the conflicts. It does this because certain files already exist on the new install. Um, tick in the box, move and replace, and there we go. So if we close both of these down now, we've got start, and we go to documents, you'll see that if I open uh, my pictures say I've got my pictures from the old install. Um, I've also got my favourites, which I think is one of the the big ones. You know, it, it's so annoying to have to go through and re-add websites to favourite lists. Um, and my documents are there, so that's how we move the data across. Um, what we want to do now is once we've taken everything out of Windows old, we can get rid of it. And the way we do this is if we go to the C drive, right click go to properties, you'll see that we get the C drive properties box opening up. If we left click on disk cleanup, this is going to scan the system for files that we no longer need. Okay, so you'll see that we've got a list here of files. Now if you see down here we've got clean up system files, if we click that and then wait for it to rescan, this can take a little bit of time. Okay. So once it's finished its scan, you'll see here that we've got ticks in boxes down here. Now you'll notice here that we've got previous Windows installations and we've got an 8 gig file there. So what we want to do is we want to tick that. In fact, you you can tick everything. Um, and there we go. We can tick everything. Now once we've done that, we click OK. Do we want to delete files? Yep. All that's going to do is going to get rid of the Windows old folder, which is going to free up a lot of space you know, the 8 gig. Um, we don't want that folder sitting there once we've recovered our files from it. So we're going to delete it, get rid of it. This will finish um, and we'll have our files back and and that's it. So at times you might find it better to not format a partition before you install Windows. People tend to think that formatting a hard drive before you install Windows, you know, it has to be done, goes hand in hand, but as I've shown here, it doesn't. And if you haven't got your data backed up and you're, you find that your Windows is corrupt, this is the way around it. Um, so I'd like to thank you for viewing.